In the spotlight this morning, a new holiday film is making its big debut. If you love romance holiday flicks that are playing around this time of year, then you're definitely going to want to tune in to WPRI this Sunday night for the premiere of When Christmas Was Young. Joining us live now via Zoom is one of the stars, Karen David. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. So happy to <laughs> chat with you. You're a familiar face maybe to those who enjoy uh, Fear the Walking Dead. And now you're playing in a, in a Christmas role quite different than how we normally see you. Is this your first Christmas film experience? It is. I've never done a holiday film before. And of course, like um, a lot of my dear friends, you know, love a good holiday film. And I have my go to list that I have every year that I binge watch with the family. Um, so it was really exciting to be doing when Christmas is young. And then on top of that, to be able to have music involved and get back in the, the music saddle and sing original Cheryl Crow music was just an absolute dream come true. Yeah. What was it like working with her? Cheryl Crow, she not, she's not only executive producing but she wrote some of the songs were you able to rehearse with her was that a pinch me moment for you oh you know if anyone told me that I'd be singing Cheryl Crow uh, original songs um, when I was a kid growing up uh, when I was listening to her music I never would have believed it. Um, it it's truly a dream come true she's such she's such a legend and she she just knows how to craft the perfect song and and to top it off a, a holiday song too um she's so cool and so lovely and uh yeah it was a real it was a real pleasure and a real joy i was just like pinch me definitely lots of pinch me moments and so nervous when i was in the studio recording thinking oh my gosh i'm singing a cheryl crow song and i just want to make her proud mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm sure she was also someone very musically inclined is tyler hilton he's your co-star who has had plenty of experience doing christmas movies did you get to pick his brain did he have any like special advice to share with you when you were on set you know, um, coming from a music background myself, I think Tyler and I just had so much in common. We were kind of swapping our stories of uh, when we first start, started out in, in, in music. Um, I had a record deal too uh, when I came out of drama college wow. and uh, went on tour as well. So we, we had so much in common um, sharing our our struggles and the ups and downs and the twists and turns, you know, of when you're pursuing your, your dreams. So, um, yeah, it was it was just really nice to be, like I said, back in that music saddle and just, you know, to be able to do this with someone like Tyler, who, you know, this has been his whole life music. Yeah. Um, it was it just kind of unified us together and just made us more excited to tell the story. And it brings you together in the movie as well. Could you sum up what what the film is all about and what you hope viewers gain from it? Uh -huh. Well, in a nutshell, it's about a music manager who has one last remaining client and needs to keep this client. Uh, she's a big star and uh, he needs to get the rights for the song that she wants. So he finds Melody Douglas and she's not so willing to give this song up. Um, it's, it's very personal to her. And, uh, you know, Melody's a single mom and she has left her dreams and put them aside to focus on uh, her family. And that's just the type of person she is. I, I'm hoping that, you know, people will, this, this holiday film will, you know, make people feel good and, and get to the Christmas spirit. But also I just love that music is the star mm -hmm. of this movie. And I love, what music brings. Music unifies us all together. And um, I'm just really excited for everyone to uh, to see what we've been cooking up. It was one of the most magical experiences I've ever had. And uh, it just felt different. I love that. Uh, I feel like CBS is really, um, not that I'm biased at all, but has really <laughs> elevated uh, what a good quality holiday movie should be. And Robert Tate Miller, who wrote this beautiful story and to have Cheryl Crow involved and such an amazing cast and our director Monica Mitchell um, it's just she's such a force of nature the stars all aligned on this um, holiday film so I hope that translates yeah. um, on the screen I, I think it will Karen we are so looking forward to it and I know in the beginning of the, our interview you said you watch so many Christmas movies year after year could you share one of them with us now before we let you go 
Oh, well, I get really excited when I see my childhood animation films like Frosty the Snow Snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, to Charlie Brown Christmas. You know, those are the staples growing up. And, and, and it's that nostalgia, you know? Yeah. Um, so those are my favorites. But then I love watching The Holiday and, and The Family Stone and Bridget Jones, you yeah. know? So, <laughs> it's a very long list. Good thing we have a whole month to enjoy them. Right, Karen? <laughs> yeah, in our PJs, yes. with the glasses and specs, the slippers with the fire going, mm -hmm. it's perfect. <laughs> Big cup of cocoa. I'm right there with you. Well, thank you so much. Can't wait to add When Christmas Was Young to the list. It will premiere on Sunday night at 8.30 right here on WPRI 12.